Oh, I see. Okay. I was a bit confused at there. Fortune cookie neighbor. Okay, I only can imagine it's a neighbor that just speaks in fortune cookie um, uh, sentences. And then it just becomes true. Like, he just comes out and you're like, morning. Morning, Thomas. And he's like, and he just turns around to you and he just says like, with the weather as it is today, your life shall be more prestigious. And it's like, what? <laughs> I don't know why I, why I even said I said some nonsense, but you know what I mean. Like he just says some stuff, and it just becomes reality. SB one sixty five is to be contained in a stand safe cl class safe place, <laughs> safe class containment unit at site. The containment unit is to be fitted with a drainage system, and the collected liquid is to be disposed as level one anomalous waste. As of the twelve. SB-135 is to be monitored for noise emissions. Following any such emission, SB-135 is to be monitored for the manifestation of additional messages. SB-135 is a fortune cookie that identical in appearance to a standard fortune cookie manufactured by Wanton Foods Incorporated. It displays the anomalous effect of releasing approximately 100 milliliters of liquid every hour. The liquid released from SB-135 is composed primarily of water, but contains traces of lead and calcium, as well as an unidentified organic compound. Okay. SB-135 was contained on the first at the restaurant. Upon arrival, Foundation agents discovered SB-165 in found in the fountain being displayed as a genuine Buddhist artifact. At the time of containment, the restaurant had begun an advertising campaign encouraging customers to come in and, and anoint themselves with the blessings of Confucius. The owner of the restaurant, Smith, and all employees and customers uh, present at the time were amateur class gymnastics and a stand test disinformation campaign was established despite extensive testing. Might be as itchy as hell today. The liquid released by SCP-165 has not been found to possess any anomalous properties. SCP-155 contains a strip of paper within its shell. Efforts to remove this object without damaging SCP-165 are ongoing. Addendum 1. On the third after attempts, the strip of paper within SCP-165 was successfully removed using a standard toothpick. Upon examination, it was discovered to contain the following message. <laughs> Hey neighbor, please fix your leak. The dripping is driving me crazy. Yeah. Then number two. On the 11th, the barking of a canis familiaris began to be heard from SB-135. The barking continued for the next two hours. The following day, a new clip of paper was discovered to have manifested within SB-135. It was retrieved and found to state the following. Hey, would you mind quieting your dog and fix that leak while you're at it? <laughs> so the leak is definitely that, that this part. <sighs> Excuse me. And then number three, on the 17th, the liquid output of SB-165 increased to 400 milliliters an hour on the 19th. The following was the retrieved. Dude, stop ignoring me. I can. I know you can see these. Uh, and then on four on the 23rd, disco music began emanating from SB-165 at 100 decibel and continued for four hours. Immediately after the event, the researchers retrieved the following note. That's it. I'm calling a fucking landlord. And then the five as of the 29th. SB-165 has ceased anomalous activity. Reclassification is pending. Oh, well, he, he gave up real fast. That's fucking it. I'm calling a landlord. There is no landlord that you can call. You're forever stuck like with this. Forever stuck with me. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? I swear to God, once I get out of this situation...